so hello friends welcome to this video first of all thank you for showing interest in learning something new in this particular video we did the plan is basically to explore react uh, like uh, 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 you know map box api for displaying maps into the into your react application so you can see right now over here one of the maps uh, you know actually we are going to build this not build this actually implement the api of this particular thing and um, let's see how far we can do go and uh, what all things we can explore in this particular video and that's um, that's for sure you'll learn a lot of things in this particular video so so actually let's get started instead of like just wasting time and talking so the first thing which we, which you need to know is we are actually going to use this particular api called react map gl amazing you know amazing the, the real thing is that we are going to use Mapbox, of course so let me actually show you uh <coughs> map box and let's go to its official website and you need to log in, in this particular website if if i'm not wrong so let's sign in you have to sign up if you don't already have an account and i don't know whether i remember the password or not uh password i always forget yeah that's i believe that's it that's the password let's try to log in and we are logged in that's great so we have a logged in in this particular save it so we have logged in in uh, mapbox gl and that's great so you'll get your public uh, token key over here and which is um, which is actually the thing which will be required uh, uh required for 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 implementing this particular uh, ui is this particular api so the first thing which you have to do is simply go to this particular you know we are we are actually making this in code sandbox because setting up the environment create react app takes a lot of time so i just want to you know do it in this particular thing so we'll be starting by adding um, this particular library which is um, react map gl so we'll simply you know add this like this so uh if you are on real like uh, if you are create if you have created this with create react app or in on real computer you have the project you can simply write npm i and then uh, react map gl if you're using yarn then yarn add you simply know all this stuff right i i really think you already know that that's why you are coming to watch a video for implementing maps in react that's great so the next thing which you have to do is you have to actually create a state so uh the state is called viewport okay so viewport is the thing which always changes um actually do this so viewport is the other things which uh actually changes a lot um, i'll explain you what i'm talking about in a bit so first of all let me actually put some properties in this viewport so you know i'll, I'll just put them so if you go to this uh, react map gl and if you go to the home page okay uh, you can actually okay let's go to this github web. you can see this pro this particular thing so the, some, some of the basic properties it has is like latitude longitude and zoom level okay so the first step obvious step would be to actually bring the map on the screen so let's do that first so we'll be simply you know uh, i am 100 percent sure i will not get this latitude spelling correct so l-a-t-i-t-u-d-e so that's why you know it's better to look at latitude and um let's actually you know use this uh these uh, same um, properties so zoom level latitude longitude all the all these things same so we'll just simply paste this over here okay and okay what's the issue that's not that like that's not an issue i believe that's that's some problem with this okay so the next thing which we want to do is actually we want to show the map right so we'll just import this map from this so import map from i believe that's how it is done right so let's let's check it out actually so react map gl that's how you do it so just let's call it react map gl react map gl from react map gl and once we have this uh, we can actually put this over here instead of returning this div we can uh, simply say react map gl okay and um, 
I believe I believe like we we just you know can do this and the next thing is we can implement all the properties we have stay like uh, we have written in this viewport thing viewport state over here so once we pass this over here this also has something called on change uh, on change I believe okay so on change whenever this uh, viewport is actually changed so you can actually see that over here so on viewport change okay this on viewport change not on change so um, this on viewport change uh, what we want is we want to call a function that will have actually the next like the view the new viewport you can say let's call it new view and uh, the simple thing which we, we want to do every time something changes in a viewport is set that as a new viewport so we'll say new viewport okay i believe that's it and the next obvious thing which you might be thinking is there's no api key you can see that's the error which uh, it's uh, really talking about so let's do it so the next thing is we have to put this uh, this uh, api key over here so there are actually a lot of ways you can do this you should actually use a .env file but i'm super lazy so i'll be just putting it over here mapbox access token so that's this one save this up and okay so actually the thing is uh, that should not be an error Come on. Okay. Now the next thing we have to do is actually specify a width and a height for this particular thing. So the width I want is window dot inner width and some height also we want. So a height is equal to window dot inner height okay and let's save this particular thing so once i save this i think this should have i don't know like why this uh you know code sandbox is showing all those weird errors but, but there's no error oh we got the map man yeah that's great okay we got the map we got the map so uh, we got the map but there's like one thing which is there still uh, that this space is there which we don't want so actually we can import the styling thing over here import dot slash whatever it was what's what what was the name of that file it's styles.css so s-t-y-l-e-s dot css and let's save it control b and let's go to that styles.css and actually you know specify body and we can say padding is equals to zero and margin is equals to zero and let's save it okay this this you can see that now we have the map everywhere and that's this as a place you know we we uh you must be thinking like why there's a space because you know this sets the width and height at the starting of the application so it does not automatically update when you resize the window and all so you can you can add this as an additional feature now some important things the next some important things we'll be learning so now you can see that uh, we have added the map into application successfully the next obvious step would be how to customize this, this is a white map not very interesting let's say that the black one was really interesting so actually if you go to react map gl uh, maybe documentation uh, maybe examples like that would be great and any of the like this one was the black one right in which we were interested in so if you go to view code actually there was a page in which uh, there were many default stylings were there and source uh, app.js so you will find that you know um, this map style is given so you know we can like there are various map styles so let me actually try to find it so first of all let's implement it in our application so um, let's actually give map style okay do that 
uh, I believe map box something like that that would that would basically make it oh you can see that that looks amazing man the black maps looks really sick and great the next thing is we want some tilted look right so if you go to this uh, this particular thing and notice this thing called this pitch thing where is that pitch thing is that that pitch is actually how much tilted you want your map to be so you know that also changes so uh, what you want is we're going to specify a pitch also over here so p i t c h as much as you want the problem is if you go to very high you you know you'll you'll lose your view and that will create an issue okay we have been two times we only want once save it so now if, if i set the pitch over there like that you will see the map is actually tilted and all so that, that looks great so yeah Maybe the map is actually tilted and that's this, this looks quite sick right so the thing you, you have to remember is map uh yeah react map gl and all these properties in the viewport which you have to give now the next thing is how you can give a marker over here by marker i mean like that thing is there no? map shape like you want some sort of thing at some particular place so how you do that so if you go to the documentation there are actually a lot of support for markers and all so you just have to go to the correct place right so that's all so let's go to documentation back and if you go to api references you can go to markers actually and look at it like how the markers is used it's pretty simple right so you know you have to you know there's a marker object you have to specify the latitude and longitude and you can give an offset also if you want so let's say you know um i want let's let's let, let, like let's uh let's actually find some image so map pointer png uh, maybe let's hope we find a png image of map pointer maybe this one is great uh yeah yeah this is a png so let's uh copy the image address from here and let's see how we can do it so the next thing we'll be doing is actually learning how to make a pointer how to make a marker in this so if that's the reason i just uh, you know left this like this so you know i'll be writing marker over here so okay and um so we have we have uh, simply uh, placed the uh, marker and it, it needs some latitude and longitude so you know let's let's give a uh, latitude and longitude of my hometown that is jamshedpur so jamshedpur latitude and longitude it's 2280 and 86 20 2280 86 20 i don't know 2286 that's that's what i that's what i'll give in 2286 so um uh, let's give it some latitude so it will be 22.0 22 22 .0, and a longitude longitude is uh, what was the longitude i forgot i believe uh, 86.2 86.2 uh 86.20 okay and the next thing which we, we need to do is actually you know you can give anything in inside this uh, particular marker and that will be appearing in the map right now let's let's experiment with the image so if we just give uh, this particular image over here and it will be quite appearing quite large so let's give it a width and a height also so let's say the width will be 50 and the height it will also be 50 save it so after doing these particular things if i just go towards india where i live just zoom out a bit uh, this is whole america united states yeah, Africa should be there. Smaller, man. Smaller, 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 smaller. Uh, here, here you can see. Yeah, that's that's in a quite wrong, wrong place, as you can see. That looks quite wrong, right? And you know, I'll tell you the reason why it's looking wrong. First of all, the size of it is not changing with your zoom level. Okay. So to solve this particular issue, let's uh, actually do something. Let's uh, let's make it multiple of zoom. That will basically solve solve our problem so you know 
we can we can you know instead of specifying this like this what we can do is we can make this dynamic so we can say uh, uh, so we can say view port dot uh, dot zoom multiplied by five whatever the zoom is multiplied by five and that's what we want over here and for the height uh, also we want this to be multiplied by that particular number so now if you see the problem is a bit solved but not exactly solved right now also we are going to this uh, uh, c and all so the, the problem here is and that too like my series over here and showing over here so that's an offset problem actually the problem is actually the coordinate is also wrong so that's not exactly what where i am so but the thing is uh, you know the offset actually this image is also like in the center it is pointing so we want like the whole thing to have a negative y like in the y direction a negative uh, times its heights height so uh, actually we can do that so we can actually give offset offset top to be a uh, negative of of uh, of uh, of what of whatever the image size is so negative of whatever the image size is divided by uh, divided by two yeah that's that's the location we want let's be a little precise on this so we'll just you know copy this whole thing from here to our application so that our latitude and longitude is quite precise so that's the latitude and i believe this is the longitude so yeah yeah it's quite close actually yeah if i just go there you can see now it's at correct place jamshedpur and this looks fine this looks awesome man this is the Jamshedpur and you can see the pointer is actually pointing at the correct direction instead of in the wrong uh, direction so yeah the problem sometimes the problem happens when you like literally zoom out a lot so yeah that's still an issue but still you got the point right so how we can place pointers and let me tell you an implementation of this which you can try by your own so you can place as many pointers as you want as many markers as you want so what you can do is like you can create corona circles okay so you can like there's like various uh, data points available where you can get latitude and longitude of every country in this world and you can show a circle by number of uh, corona cases it has so that will be a great idea if you want to implement that that would be great and if you, if you try to do that simply message me below and if you don't get anything if you're still confused in this just uh, just you know this was uh, basically the basic part if you want the advanced part so if you want to learn let's say you know let me actually show you like i'll just give you an uh, idea of from where you can also learn from the future but if you didn't get it like if you're facing difficulties that's okay you know we can we can figure it out figure it out so yeah you can see like this these particular examples so these are uh, flying examples so if i go to you know san francisco you can see these fancy animations are there so you know actually yeah 